Welcome to Canada's Digital Farm Show. I'm Kathy Dibble with Ontario Soil and Crop. I'm Bruce Krupp. We're on site in Woodstock, site of the longest woodlot expo running in Ontario for 24 plus years. And we're just going to go through some of the highlights and benefits of woodlot management and where funding is available if anyone wants to participate in the funding programs available through the Government Conservation Authorities and Soil and Crop Association. Now certainly there's lots of economic benefits as well as environmental benefits for uh, having a woodlot or a shelter belt or a windbreak on, on your farms. So we'd like to talk about that a little bit as well. We're here in the forested plot of the Soil and Crop plot at the Woodstock Show. The red oaks and spruce and cedar trees were all planted from bare root stock 24 years ago when they first came to the Woodstock site. As you can see they've grown in different stages. They have grown very well, however they also had the benefit of being looked after every year manicured and had the weeds and stuff maintained around them for 24 years so they've grown really well as you can see the growth of this tree is quite substantial for 24 years of growth on a hardwood tree. And what we're trying to showcase here are different uh, options for windbreaks, for shelter belts, uh, for economic benefits for your woodlots and that sort of thing. We have a variety of trees here and also to uh, attract wildlife to stay in the bush rather than going out into the fields and damaging the producer's crops. And we also showcase using cover crops within your woodlot management as well to help control weeds and provide additional food for pollinators and for wildlife. There's typically funding available from your conservation authority or through soil and crop for anyone that wants to plant shelter belts, uh, buffer zones along streams and riparian streams to enhance wildlife corridors so they don't go in your fields and they stay on the edges and follow the creeks and streams along. It benefits both the streams and the crops. Your windbreaks help your crops and you'll get a better yield if your fields are protected rather than being a wide open field with all your dirt blowing away. And there are a few programs too who also cover the cost of hiring a woodlot management consultant to help you best manage your woodlot experts such as Bruce and his counterparts. A few years ago we also partnered with the Ontario Hazelnut Association to plant some hazelnut trees in here to demonstrate hazelnut production which is growing within southwestern Ontario quite right now. Um, there certainly is a market for hazelnuts so we're trying to encourage more producers to try growing hazelnuts as a crop as well. As you can see there's many different species of trees planted in here. It's almost an arborarium and there's thorns on some of these trees. The black, black locust have thorns on them that'll grow to be two or two and a half, three inches. And over here you have some cottonwood trees or poplar that grow very fast. As you can see, they're two to three times the size of most of the other trees in the plantation area. And they just grow that much faster because they draw that much more water from the soil. And it's also important when you're putting in a buffer zone or planting trees, that you plant trees that are native to the soil. You'll get better growth and they will last a lot longer and they'll do a lot better than if you try and introduce trees that aren't native to that soil, then you have trees, they will grow, but they don't produce the same way that a native tree will grow in that area. As Bruce mentioned earlier, this is the longest standing Woodlaw Expo in Ontario, and we'd like to thank the Outdoor Farm Show for maintaining this site. It was established 24 years ago in cooperation with the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, Rural Affairs, Ministry of Natural Resources, Lakehead University, and Conservation Authorities. We hope you enjoyed this video and all the other programming videos that will be available on the Digital Farm Show this year.